Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. So for this video, this is like a transition that I am in, is getting out of having to work a job in order to fund my business and everything else that I'm doing. So I wanted to talk about how to build a business while you're working full time or part time, whatever it is that you're doing. Oftentimes when we're first starting out, we need to obviously fund it. So the kind of con of that is that you have less time but the pro of that is that you have more money and if you watched my previous video where I talked about time versus money that video may interest you but for this video we're just gonna talk about how to actually do both <laughs> because you're kind of limited on time especially if you work full time and I know that it can be really difficult to find a moment to be able to work on your business but for me I feel like hustle culture is dead like it's time to get rid of hustle culture burn yourself into the ground and have to work 24 hours a day like that is not even realistic or majority of the time possible like it's not something that's sustainable for a very long period of time so it's just going to burn you out and then you're not going to be able to move and you'll probably end up in hospital and it will just be completely counterproductive. So for me and something that I'm learning to literally come to understand now and implement in my own life is that there's only a certain amount of hours in a day so you can only do what you can do and we don't have to beat ourselves up for not being able to do more than we can physically do, you know? So if you work full-time or even if you work part-time, I work part-time, but if you work whatever kind of hours it is, your free time, like you have to work out how many hours you have free and figure out how you can divide those hours into all of the things that you need. Because when you build a business, no matter what industry you're in, you're not just doing one thing constantly. Like there's multiple things that you have to do in a business. So work out what times you have left and how much time you can allocate to all of these specific things that you have to get done but it's okay it's okay if you only have five hours a week to be able to do this it's okay if you only have one hour a week to do this it's okay if you only have 10 hours a week to be able to work on your business it doesn't matter and for me I got sucked into hustle culture and feeling like having 10 hours is not enough and I need to literally work full time on my business and work part time on my normal job, you know. And I think if I worked full time on a normal job, I would probably feel like I still need to work full time on my business as well. And it's like, when do you sleep in there? When do you eat in this time frame? Like there's just no time to eat. And some days I wouldn't eat when I'm like recording music or something I would go the whole 10 hours or whatever it is of me recording without eating and I'd literally be shaking to the point where you can't sing when you're shaking like that so it's just completely counterproductive and didn't help me in any way it just made me feel ill and shit you know so there's only so many amounts of hours in a day and it's okay if for whatever reason no matter how many hours it is it's okay if you can only do those certain amount like imagine there's people out here that are building businesses working full time and have children or and are studying like that's just so much stuff and what's meant for you is always always going to reach you no matter what time frame you're on it's always going to come in that divine timing of whatever time frame is supposed to be for you because of whatever your circumstances and your mentality will be in those moments. That's the reason it's coming to you is because it needed you to get into whatever mindset first. So it's going to take the amount of time that it's supposed to take and no amount of work is going to change that time frame because it's supposed to be what it's supposed to be. And if it's meant for you, it's going to come to you. And I feel like we get in this like scarcity, lack mentality when we're trying to create something because it is scary and it does feel like you're lacking something because you're striving for something else. So 
it's like you're striving for something that you don't have so it makes you feel like you're lacking and you need to work harder to get it you need to keep going you need to do more you need to be more you need to become more you like everything that you're not and what I'm coming to realize is that no 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 you already are you already have everything that you could need you already have like the mindset that you need within you it's just you don't have to kill yourself to do it <laughs> you know and this whole culture makes us feel like we literally have to just do everything in one day and not sleep until we've achieved it but we're not in that lifestyle anymore we're not in that time period anymore like this is a new age we're in um the information age full of literal technology so much technology where everything is possible but at the end of the day our peace our happiness our like emotional fulfillment our ability to connect with our friends and family that's also success you know and i saw somebody say um I don't have a clue who it was or where I saw it. I saw something that said about how they are giving equal attention to all areas of their life. So their relationships, their diet and exercise, their finances and their self-care, like their own personal time by themselves. They're literally giving equal effort to all of those areas. And it made me realise how out of balance I've been, where I'm literally trying to give 100% to my business and then all of the others are suffering, you know, to the point where I wouldn't even take a holiday, I wouldn't go out with friends, like I wouldn't do any of these things because I felt like that's a waste of my time. I literally felt like going and meal prepping for the week is wasted an hour of my time that could be spent on my business. But if I don't eat how am I gonna like I could spend that hour on my business but I'm not really gonna be able to function properly certainly not gonna be able to sing properly if I'm like shaking because I'm so hungry you know so it's counterproductive because you need you need to be able to eat you need to be able to sleep you need those socializing moments of connectivity we all want connection you need those moments of rest rest to recharge you can't just keep going on autopilot it will literally put you on autopilot if you just keep on going and working non-stop so i just wanted to put this message out there that we need to kill this whole idea of hustle to the point of exhaustion and this whole scarcity lack mentality as if it, our dreams are somehow going to run away from us or we're never going to reach them but that's that's not the case our dreams are already ours it's already planned you already agreed it before incarnation it's a part of your purpose therefore you're going to achieve it but you have to have to have to let yourself rest let yourself breathe let yourself be let yourself feel let yourself connect with people and enjoy the moments because when you're working 24 7 you're not even enjoying the creative process of building the business because you're stressed you're tired you're hungry you haven't had any kind of connection in ages because you're just so focused on your business so use this video as your excuse to go and take the day off go and rest and recharge and when you're working full time it's okay to use whatever hours you have spare to build your business in those hours like that's okay and you're going to get to your goal because you're working on it you know like it doesn't matter how frequently it is you're still working on it so you're going to get there and obviously working on it once a year maybe that's a little bit like not enough but if you're working on it every week you're good every two weeks you're good every day you're more than good like you're fine and it's gonna be fine and you're gonna get there as long as you are um focused but also as long as you are emotionally and mentally prepared and able to work on it then you know you're going to achieve it and it's completely fine and you can do this no matter whether you're studying whether you're working full-time or part-time you use what hours you have to do whatever it is that you're wanting to do in your business and you'll be able to create it and it doesn't matter what the time frame is it doesn't matter if you think oh I'm only going to reach it in two years time because I'm only doing it once a week that's fine maybe you're supposed to reach it in two weeks time but 
maybe you're supposed to get to it in two years time because where you're going to be in two years time mentally and emotionally and even your circumstances around you will be the best place for you to be able to take the business to the level that you want to take it to maybe you're supposed to wait those two years by working on it every week maybe that weekly practice is going to teach you something that in those two years will propel you so much further forward so it's not a negative it's not a punishment it's a do what you can with what you have you don't have to kill yourself to do it because we're supposed to be enjoying this life not just killing ourselves and burning ourselves out in order to get there because when you get there there's going to be another goal the goals are never ending. So you might get to that goal and then there'll be another one and then you'll want to kill yourself over that one too. You know, you're just always going to be in burnout. So I think it's important that we slow down and we just enjoy the moments and the process of getting to each goal because we're always going to be moving from one goal to the next. So enjoy each step along that way to all of these goals for the rest of this lifetime. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload three times a week. And check out the description box for my phone number because I do send daily inspirational, motivational, spiritual thoughts via text and WhatsApp. As well as links to my music, my merch, my jewellery brand and so, so much more will be in the description box below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. You could say I love you. I can't get enough, but I just want you to myself